To achieve the Vision 2040 goals and NDP3 program objectives, the Uganda Public Service must deliver on expectations and beyond. However, the number of capacity and competency challenges make it urgent to prioritize transforming the public service by addressing these challenges. One project aimed at improving service delivery was the support to the development of human resources, SDHR, implemented within the framework of the governmental cooperation between the Republic of Uganda and the Kingdom of Belgium. The project was implemented to increase the human resource skills of selected beneficiary organizations in the health, education and environment sectors of the Uganda Public Service. This video showcases stories of the impact of online and blended learning on the work and performance of the participants. During uh, the times of COVID, Enable came up with a program because by that time students were at home and of course the schools were facing a challenge including St. Joseph's Technical Institute. Thanks to Enable that they thought about this program and they trained us on how to use the online platforms, including Moodle, uh, Zoom and other learning platforms. Over two years, the project supported 1,483 participants, 906 being male and 577 being female, from 20 beneficiary organizations. After we had finished the face-to-face -face trainings, we were onboarded for the in-learning, that was online studies. They created for us accounts and then uh, they sent links to our email addresses. We were given opportunity to, to set up passwords that were convenient for us to use. First of all, I first secure a good internet connection and a gadget, either a laptop or a smartphone. They can all work. Then I go to my web browser, I prefer to use Chrome. Then I enter my URL address, I like enable e-learning campus. Afterwards, it will display for me the dialog to log in my username and password. Then I enter into the campus. I go to dashboard, look, select whatever I want to do. If I'm looking for my courses, I'll get them. If I'm looking for my tests, I'll get them and do and submit. The layout is excellent, and uh, we see the way the courses have been uh, aligned. You can easily find what you want. Eh? Uh, first of all, it's pictorial in nature. So it's eye-catching and most of us are attracted when you see something. Even if there are words and they see pictures, at least you will persevere through. So when you go like to the dashboard, you'll get to know which courses you can enroll for. And further, when you go into the courses, they elaborate. Previously, I used to think learning online is all about sending emails. They send you work in an email, you email back. So, but it was really surprising that I could do a lot of things and interact with as many people as possible in that one campus, almost equivalent to going to university. Before SDHR courses, we enrolled for quite a number of courses. Uh, the first one being technology enhanced learning, and there was general teaching methods course, which were all uh, in a blended form. Digital initiatives were also supported, including digital literacy, supply of ICT equipment, support for installation of e-services systems, and conducting digital assessment exercises. At the institutional level, partner organizations and their teams were supported to envision, plan, strategize, resource, program, and lead the effective delivery of services. I was on lead on leadership and management. I was enrolled on strategic plan, human resource and even ICD yellow. I've been enrolled into a number of courses in this CE camp, learning campus. I've been enrolled in financial management. I've been enrolled in uh, effective communication. I've been enrolled in uh, strategic planning. I finished digital literacy and I was certified. I got a digital certificate which I actually using as uh, on my LinkedIn profile. I finished work processes, the assignments. I finished part of the project planning, though because of the schedules, I wasn't able to finish everything. Some of these were group assignments. At the organizational level, teams were supported to strategize, plan, resource, implement, monitor, review, and reshape institutional actions in line with the current mandate and future requirements. 
Individuals were supported to effectively and efficiently carry out assigned functions, leveraging their competencies, leading to successful performance. My work has even been made easier. You know, on the internet everything is there, but uh, it's just a matter of getting the resources and put them together. It has even become easier for me because I don't even have to create content. The content is there. It's just a matter of now blending it and organizing it. Under Human Resource, I had, I had to learn about my roles as a Deputy Principal in, in that aspect. I had to learn uh, how do I allocate different uh, sections and how to motivate uh, those people in, especially, how to motivate my, the people I lead. Online process has really changed my, my, my way of doing work in that I am able to conduct a class wherever I am online with my students be able to interact. I'm able to receive feedback from my students without even me reaching them. Uh, it has helped even my students to be able to train to teach themselves uh, because they have been trained on how to download the tutorial, watch and be able to make some few notes for themselves. My staff used to wait for me too much to say, what do I do in this scenario? Principal, we don't know what we should do in this scenario. But since that thing has changed, these days I see staff coming to say, Principal, to solve this, I've thought like we could try this. How do you see it? And then I advise, I say, maybe we add this, maybe instead we take this one off. And uh, I think the training has made us to start functioning as a team more than before.